All right, Jesse on Fire, welcome back to the channel. Now, I was about to go nighty night. And then all of a sudden I got an alert and it was like Conor McGregor and Machine Gun Kelly almost getting a fight. Uh, Megan Fox gets doused with alcohol because Conor threw a drink on her. I was like, get out of here. So I watched the video and it was like, oh, Connor really did chuck that drink. Wow, good throw, Connor. Uh, what the hell's going on? So then I read this and that and the other, and it's like, Connor w wanted to take a picture with Machine Gun Kelly, and Machine Gun Kelly was like, nah, bro, nah. You said something about your about Dustin's wife being in your DMs, and that's too much. I can't take a picture with you. I can't be seen with the villain. Can't do it. Won't do it. Connor was like, I'm sorry, did you say what? You said you do not want to be in a picture with me? because no one has ever rejected me for a picture, pal. So there's only two ways this is gonna go. I'm either gonna come out of retirement right this second and smash your face and then take your girl home, or you're gonna take the picture. Machine Gun Kelly was like, oh, am I? I'm gonna take the picture? Try fighting me now when you have no legs! And he pushed him, and then Connor kinda fell, and then Connor threw the drink, whatever. So like, that's maybe, you know, maybe that's what happened, it's possible. But, you know, I got this itch. You know, I just got this itch where I can't help it. Anytime I see something in the press, I just kind of go, who's benefiting from this? Like, you know, part of me wants to say, maybe Connor's off the deep end. Because here's the thing, Connor might be off the deep end, okay? If you're a person who is prone to angry drinking, right? Like you get drunk, everybody knows their buddies. Okay, I have a buddy uh, whose name I won't say because I don't want to blow him up, but I'll just say his initials are JF, okay? Now, this is one of the happiest dudes in the world. Like, you, you hang out with him sober, he is the happiest. As a matter of fact, you hang out with him six drinks in, and he's the happiest guy ever. You get to six drinks or six hours, actually. So, whichever comes first, seventh drink or seventh hour, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. All of a sudden, he's like, <laughs> and you can just see it in him. It's like, uh oh, I think that that frown just turned up. Wait, what? The opposite of frowned upside down? Like, he, he, he. it's very subtle and you're like, uh-oh, man. This guy is an hour from catastrophe. And he is the angriest dude ever. It does not matter. He's not even close to as tough as, uh, as Connor. He used to get beat up sometimes because like he would get so mad. Like all of a sudden he would just turn into like a, a Dr. Jekyll version of himself. And like, but generally that coincided with him not having good motor skills because he was super drunk. And like, dude, we saw him get knocked out by this guy and he was, he was so out of line that we didn't even fight the guy. We were just like, all right, like, don't worry about it. He, he completely brought that on himself, man. Like, <laughs> you know, there's, we're just going to let that slide. Like, he threw a ridiculous punch at you for no reason. What are you supposed to do? And we're like, all right, Jason, let's just come up. Oh, I couldn't believe I said his name. Well, the guy that knocked him out, his name is Chris Sabo. And we made jokes about it forever. We were like, Chris Sabo is the toughest guy ever because anyway, it's neither here nor there. But the bottom line is Connor might be one of those. He might just be one of those guys who gets drunk and he turns into an angry little elf. I didn't mean that as a disparaging thing. I am not talking shit. Connor, I'm still, I don't care. Connor can be off the deep end. I'll always be a Connor fan. But there's this other thing, you know, like this itch that I was getting. I was like, God, what is it? What is it? God, let me just think back through my memory bank. Like, Machine Gun Kelly, Machine Gun Kelly. When's the first time that I really noticed that he was around? Something about a rap beef. I think, I think he had like a rap battle with Eminem. I think that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, that's what, definitely what it was. He got into a rap battle with Eminem and everyone was like, oh my God, did you hear that was a vicious diss track that Machine Gun Kelly did on Eminem? And I was like, really? Was it? And so I went and looked at it just because it's just the kind of thing that I do. I went and looked around and I was like, man, the only thing I can find when I look up Machine Gun Kelly are quotes about him saying that Eminem is literally his, his hero, right? Like, like Eminem is his hero. So why would he turn on him like that, right? Why would he turn on Eminem? And so I listened to that rap song again, and I realized this sounds really familiar, you know? Not just like, not just the, the beat itself, which sounds very familiar, but the way he's rapping sounds really familiar. And then I realized, oh, Eminem wrote this song. Eminem wrote this diss song. Like, Eminem wrote it. He fed it to Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly performed it. 
And that was that. And the reason that I was validated in that is because it took, it took Eminem literally like three months to respond to it. Machine Gun Kelly did the diss track. Eminem launched an album the next week. It blew up. I still have never heard anybody figure this out. I would bet my life. I would bet my fucking life that Eminem wrote that song. Literally. Maybe not my life, but I would bet, I would bet a million dollars up against my finger. Like, or even a hundred grand actually. Hundred grand up against my pinky that Eminem wrote that fucking song. And if I'm wrong, you get to chop it off like we're in the fucking Yokuza. That's how sure I am that Eminem fucking wrote that song. And I think he gave him the beat too. Go listen to that beat and go listen to Eminem, I'm sorry, uh, Machine Gun Kelly perform that song and you tell me, okay? Eminem wrote that fucking song and he gave him the beat. Anyway, so I think about that and I go, well, Machine Gun Kelly, what else do I know about him? Massive UFC fan, right? Huge UFC fan, comes to all the UFC events, right? And what do I know about Connor? Like what's Connor doing right now while he's laid up with his leg? Trying to stay relevant, right? Like something, you know, trying to stay relevant, talking shit on Twitter, doing blah, blah, blah. Anything to get people to talk about him. And so what seems more likely? Uh, that Machine Gun Kelly and Conor McGregor, huge UFC fan, and Conor McGregor almost getting a fight at the fucking music awards out front where all the cameras are? Or they're both geniuses who collaborated on a fake fight so they could get everyone talking about them because that is what their currency is. People talking about them. So when you're looking for, oh my God, what just happened? That's probably what just happened, you know, if I was gonna guess. But it's possible Connor's a total train wreck. Either Connor's a train wreck or they are fucking geniuses, okay? One of the two. So you pick, I don't know which one, but uh, anyway, that's what I got, so. But one thing I will tell you, Eminem wrote that fucking song. I will tell you that right now. Anyway, if you like the content, subscribe and ring the bell. Peace.